Hi, this is DW Berman, and welcome to the Pixel Displays tutorial. In my Mechanical Displays tutorials, we talked about moving objects or rotating objects in order to make a uh, picture appear via the shading of the lighting. This tutorial is a bit different. We are actually changing the surface properties. We are changing the color of an entire block, an entire object, an entire LED. This technique can be used to replicate old-school retro game graphics. Uh, super close-ups of computer screens, low-resolution displays made up of individual LEDs or other light sources, or even just for precise control over the color of entire objects. The way I prefer to do these effects is by using a couple of third-party plugins by Dennis Pontanier, namely DP Filter and DP Kit. You will need to go to his website to download the latest build of his plugins. The link to the plugins can be found in the course notes. DP Kit is a collection of tools for various purposes. There are several nodes for surfacing and for moving items around. DP Filter is primarily a set of tools for post-processing your renderer. We will be using the nodes in ways they may not have originally been intended to be used. What is a pixel? There are a couple of different ways to use the term pixel. When it comes to hardware, a pixel is a picture element, a tiny dot that either emits or detects light electronically. Your computer screen is made up of them, as are the image sensors and digital cameras. In terms of computer graphics software, a pixel is one of the individual blocks that make up raster images, such as JPEGs or PNG files.